be strong. Be The United States Air Force will decommission three units of a 29 Super Tucano aircraft in 2024. From the information we received, it appears that the United States will donate three units of decommissioned A-29 Super Tucano aircraft to the Allies for free. The Philippine Air Force in this context will most likely receive the three A-29 Super Tucano aircraft for free. Negotiations regarding the aircraft have been ongoing for months, even before the conclusions of the additional EDCA site were disclosed. The A-29s are operated by Combat Air Advisory and based at Hurlburt Field in Florida. Although the request has been submitted to the United States government, getting the aircraft is not a sure thing for the following reasons, and it is also not a guarantee that the equipment and other add-ons on the U.S. made A-29 Super Tucano will be included in the transfer. It is also possible that some sensors and other devices on the aircraft will be removed before the transfer. And the Philippine government, if they are selected as the recipient of the A-29, will have to purchase the items that will be removed from the aircraft. But if indeed the aircraft will be transferred to the Philippine Air Force, it is still a great addition to their inventory. From the information provided, the Philippine Air Force requested that the equipment of the aircraft be retained if possible and included in the transfer. However, it is up to the United States government to consider this request and decide which country will request the Super Tucano Sierra Nevada according to the careful evaluation of the United States Air Force and Department of Defense. And the requests submitted to the United States are not only about the A-29, there are also requests for helicopters and other attack aircraft. With the retirement of the Broncos, the A-29 Super Tucano will become the flagship fixed-wing attack aircraft for the 15th Strike Wing. Additional A-29 aircraft are already in the planning stages, but again, just like any other procurement for the AFP modernization program, they are waiting for funds to be disbursed, which they hope will be prioritized for them. Has the Philippine government's request been granted, and is the Philippine Air Force confident enough to retire the Broncos this year? The retirement of the Broncos will depend on the additional aircraft that will be available for the 15th strike wing, and if there is a replacement, the venerable OV-10 can be retired properly. The Philippine Air Force currently operates a fleet of six Super Tucano A-29 light attack advanced trainers, which were delivered to service in 2020. The Philippine Air Force is considering acquiring more Super Tucano A-29 aircraft from Brazilian company Embraer and should have at least two squadrons. For now, the Philippine Air Force is currently targeting six additional units of Super Tucano A-29 aircraft and will have one squadron of Super Tucano aircraft if the additional project is successful. The Philippine Air Force is also currently trying to request three units of Super Tucano A-29 aircraft that will be decommissioned by the United States, and this project is still under discussion. The Super Tucano is a turboprop aircraft designed for light attack, counterinsurgency, close air support, and aerial reconnaissance missions in low-threat environments, as well as providing pilot training. The A-29 Super Tucano is the only aircraft in its category equipped with an internal machine gun, which releases pylons for use with other weapons and allows for more than 160 configuration possibilities. The aircraft can also be used for training, reconnaissance, support, and much more. For the United States, cementing alliances in the Asia-Pacific region is likewise crucial to keeping China in check. The U.S. embrace of Marcos is key to that project. To get inside the American effort at mending ties and Marcos' decisive pivot to Washington, Reuters spoke to more than two dozen current and former officials from both countries.
Some spoke on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to speak to the media. United States Ambassador to the Philippines Mary K. Carlson added that the acquisition is in line with United States' support of the Southeast Asian nation's West Philippine Sea operations.